Grady had to go to the vet this last week. I heard he was not happy. No, it wasn't anything serious. It was just he needed to have his rabies shot and he needed to have his yearly boosters and important. He, he also needed to have his microchip in because I kept putting that off, but he's got his microchip now. And I just I'm gonna show everybody again because it's just Oh my god, it was sadder than Lay Mids. Okay. The last time I put Grady in his carrier before this last weekend was you like brought him across the country. Yeah, I put him in the carrier and then he went in a truck for two days and he then a hotel room. He didn't know idea what the fuck was going on. And then <laughs> everything was horrible. And then he ends up here and it's like he never he's never going to see his his original house again. And, and that, that was the last time he was in. So here's what happened when I put him in the carrier to take him to to the vet. Let's let everybody watch because he is such a little drama llama. Uh, here we go. Come on. There we go. Grady. It's okay, man. I just... We're, we're we'll be there and back, I promise. <laughs> oh, I know. Human. I know. Why are you going to do know. this? Grady. Oh, poor buddy. He always goes on... He's, he goes on and on like the, the, the entire world is ending. And he also cries if she has to go. What's funny is if we just leave the carrier out in the house, she loves it. She hangs out in there. If I put her in the carrier to take her somewhere, she sings me the song of her people and tries to burrow out of the carrier. Grady was doing that too. And I'm like, buddy, that's not how that works. It's not going to work. And the funny part is Dottie, who is usually a little ball of anxiety, that's the only time she's ever like, Peggy, would you chill out? Erin's fine. <laughs> Peggy, Dottie, who's afraid of everything else, you put her in the carrier in the car, and she's just like, man, whatever. <laughs> All right. Where did they go? Where did you go, you little raptors? Come back. I, he I, I hear little that. bells jingling. You hear little jingles? Oh, hi. Oh, yeah, you want the treats. I know you do. So we have news this week, and uh, every fucking hall. All right, every fucking Halloween, every fucking Halloween. All right, let's get the intro going. Come up here and get the treat. You get. You guys are just not going to cooperate, huh? Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call. What the fuck is wrong with you? And I, I, I'm i going to task those of you who are regular watchers of the show. Can you go back through our archive and check every single hollow? What the fuck is wrong with you after Halloween and see if this happens every time? Because I'm pretty sure without fucking fail every goddamn time. It's like it's it's. Every fucking time. I'm not sure what we're talking about. Or you know what we're talking about, Tara. So I want I want you guys who are regular viewers of the show to go back and check because does this happen every Halloween? Yeah, I think it does. Every fucking Halloween. And you know what? This time it's a fucking law enforcement group. Oh, come on. A Newfoundland and Labrador law enforcement group that holds fundraisers for the Special Olympics is apologizing for uploading photos to its members and part of party guests dressed in offensive Halloween costumes. Um, Wait, so this was, was this a fundraiser for the Special Olympics? I have no idea. Because that's like a whole extra level of fuckery. Yeah. Who? Who the? Oh. oh, and they've got a they've got a 
Arab guy too. Yeah, they do. They they've got it. They they did they did the the Arab dude, and the Indian. They they did the the. the yeah. It was not our intention to offend anyone in any way, but to celebrate diversity. Why is it when okay? Yeah. It's like every white person step away from diversity. Cause you're gonna fuck it up. You don't understand what they're talking about. You just think, okay, so we need people to look like they're not white. Is that how diversity works? <laughs> maybe, yeah, maybe if you want to celebrate diversity, you could actually bring in some people that aren't white. Well, we, we, and we, let, you know, have them work with you. Well, we don't know where to find those people. So we're just going to go with, uh, with the blackface. That's, that's, that's our plan. The dude even has like the super white eyes and the big red lips. Like, yeah. come on, man. Yeah. yeah. I know you're in Canada and it's a different thing, but it's still not cool. You would think how ugh, the internet has been around a long, long time. We've put this message out here every fucking year. Like, how are people unaware at this point? It's like, oh, and they always play dumb. They're always like, oh my God, I had no idea that was offensive. Or, and you know what? I'm like, oh my God, I had no idea you were an idiot. And like people point out, pointed out last week that like last year, I did the Dia de los Muertos makeup, and some people got offended by that. Well, yeah, I, but... like, I wasn't trying to do the cultural appropriation thing. That wasn't the way I intended it. I'm a Catholic, and All Saints Day is a similar idea, and I thought it would translate well. To a lot of people, it didn't. I apologized. Not doing that again. But... Because people were upset by and it. And even still, the day, the, the day of the Dead costume you're you're not dressing up as a person from mexico right it's a skeleton like it's a mexican holiday right you're not turning and i'm not mexican so people felt i shouldn't do it fine that's fair but i wasn't wearing like a sombrero and a mustache though yeah you weren't like doing the speedy gonzalez shit right oh just just stop this shit you know but we've told you Everyone is, and you know, someone there went, I don't know about this. No, it'll be fun. No, I, I, I don't, I don't know about, this. no, it'll be awesome. No, really, like, guys. I don't, I don't know, Bill. I don't know if this is a great idea, Bill. No, it's going to be great. Everyone's going to love it. We're celebrating diversity. And then the shit ends up in a newspaper. Like, oh, we didn't know. Nobody we're, said anything. We're literally all white dudes, Bill. <laughs> Maybe just all dress up as the different kind of European you are. Yeah, you got, yeah, it's like right there. You have that. Uh, so, oh, yeah. Some people thought my makeup was cool. Thank you. I really felt bad that people were upset by it. And then I'm trying to make. But, you know, sometimes white people fuck up. I'm a well-meaning white person. I'm a nice white lady. I fuck up sometimes. And you tell me that, and I say, gosh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. And then I don't do it again. That's the, the not doing it again is the important part. Hmm. Okay, this is to the fuck. And I'm having issues with my internet right now, so you'll have to bear with me. Okay, is, is that going to work now? Is that going to work? Good. Good. That, that's going to work. Good. 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 All right. So uh, I'm not even going to give an opening for this one. This is just God damn it. This is from Germany. Um, Man tries and fails to open beer bottle with pepper spray. How does that even work? Was he trying to intimidate it open? Berlin, it's legal to drink beer in German movie theaters, but it's probably not a good idea to try to open your beer bottle with a pepper spray canister. Canister, sorry. Um, however, that's exactly what a thirsty moviegoer tried to do at a cinema Monday night in the northwestern German town of Osnabrück. Uh, instead of opening his beer, the 29-year-old man broke open his pepper spray container, and some 200 people had to quickly leave the theater in tears. Oh, my God. Cinema's manager told the German news agency DPA on Wednesday that it was chaos. Still, he kept his head. 
calling police, offering beverages to moviegoers, and opening and opening the windows. Said the movie was restarted after 30 minutes. Police say so far no moviegoers have complained with about eye or breathing problems. It's not a toy. It's Are not a bottle opener. BYOB? What? Are movie theaters in Germany BYOB? Well, no, you can go ahead and buy a, buy a bottle of beer. Okay, but they don't open it for you? Because if you're going to buy beer off someone, they should open that motherfucker for you. Well, yeah, they should. That's true. However, if, 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 if you... If they don't... You, you don't... It's not a bottle. Pepper spray is not a bottle opener. No, why is that? Use your fucking keys or something. Why if you're is just gonna do the angry monkey thing where you bang on it till it works? Don't bang on it with a little pressurized canister of pain. I mean, it's like you know what? If I, I this is this is a thing I've been able to do. The people will eagerly assist you with this because they're not that bright. Um, whenever I've never been, whenever I've been lacking a bottle opener for my beer, I'm like, hey, does anyone know how to do that trick? And some jackass will come forward and be like, oh, yeah, I can do it. And they'll pop it open with their mouth. And they're like, thanks, buddy. My friend Nathan does that. It's like, hey, that's between you and your dentist. I don't care, but I'm I've got like my this. beer open. So I know you're a Marine and you feel like you have to be hardcore in every possible way. But please don't do that. <laughs> Just don't, don't open the beer because one day no. the beer bottle's going to win. No, don't tell them that because then I'll have to remember to bring a bottle opener with me. And cosmetic dental work is really expensive. No, I see from experience. Don't listen to Tara. It's fun. Everybody loves when you do it. Don't open bottles. Yeah, it's great. It's fun. Everybody loves it. And if they fuck it up, you have to have a root canal through the cap. It's not fun. I've had it done. Be sure. No, face. no, no. Don't listen. No one listen to Tara. No one, no one listened to her. She's, she's wrong. She's, she's telling listen lies. To Tara. I had the orthodontist from the Hostel movie franchise. And I've had some dental misadventures. And you don't want to tempt fate with that shit. You're fucking it up for me, Tara. You're fucking it up for me. Just carry a bottle opener, man. Put it on your keychain. I, you know what? I, Take some personal responsibility, goddammit. I will not lie. I have definitely been in a situation, especially any repair or project situation, where I've not had the proper tool. To so use something else. I've attempted to to use something else as the tool I need. I get the impulse, but it's fucking pep. It's not a toy. It's pepper spray. Yeah. It's just come on. I tend to bang on things until Dan takes them away from me <laughs> and makes them work, and then hands them back. Oh. So I get it. Uh, but it's not a great way to go when you're dealing with a little pressurized canister full of pain. Ah, uh, speaking of, oh, Christ's sake! I, every fucking just, just, what's the scoreboard for? It's not a remote control. What's the score at? Does anybody know? Too fucking many. Who's been keeping the score on? It's not a fucking remote control for life. Man pulls gun in Ohio after failing to get McMuffin. <sighs> Police in Ohio say they're looking for a man who pulled out a gun after being told by a McDonald's drive through worker there were no egg McMuffin sandwiches available. I'm gonna say that again. Pulled out a gun when he was told there were no egg McMuffin sandwiches. Egg McMuffins suck anyway. Go for the McGriddle. Worker told police the two men inside the car appeared to be around 20 years old. Said the driver called her a vulgar name after pulling out the gun and then cursing her again before driving away. Warren police hope to identify the men using video surveillance footage. <sighs> okay. God, it must suck to work at McDonald's, man. People pull guns on you. Like, not only are you covered in grease all the time, and you smell like fried food, and you have to work weekends, and you get yelled at by soccer moms, and you make shitty money, but people literally fucking threaten to kill you over shit like McNuggets and McMuffin. It's a fucking... How much does a fucking McMuffin cost? I don't know, like $1.50 at this point? I don't know. Fucking McMuffin. And, and how much does a fucking lawyer cost? More than that. More than $1.50. 
they're going to find you, you going to jail. They have cameras everywhere. You're going to... The, what? How is this... But, like, how many stories have we pulled about people fucking with the McDonald's crew? Fucking with the McDonald's crew or trying to... Just anybody who does not do things to their liking, they're like, well, I have this gun. Right. So this will make things work out the way I want them to. That's how life works, right? Is that no. the good guy with a gun? That is not the... That, yeah. Is that what that means? Is that what that means? Yeah. Because, you know, when you... It's... <sighs> uh, in a sane country, the minute you pulled a gun on someone over a fucking McMuffin, not only would you be arrested, you would not get your gun back, ever. Or yeah. any other guns. Ever because but here in America we got right. Because obviously Jesus wants you to have that gun. I mean, I mean it just the minute you're using a gun to try to dictate how life goes, you've proven you should not have a gun. Yeah. You you you're you're just you're straight up you're not getting a gun. And if you are so fucking removed from basic reason that you think a McMuffin is a worthy cause for potential the threat of deadly force I'm not even sure you should be out without a chaperone and a helmet I know what is your life what is right. what is what is your life you're gonna pull a gun over some fucking fried eggs on a muffin it's not it's egg substance it's not even like eggs it's like egg substance it's, they claim it's real fresh eggs now. The fuck it is. It's I I do not believe I have you it's had one? What they say. I've had one. I don't believe that shit. That's not and that's not worth going. It's not worth going to jail over. No. And I like McDonald's. Like, judge me if you will. But I like McDonald's. It's good shitty food. It's a staple. Ah, uh, it's shitty food. I will agree. Yes, it is. It is shitty food. I, I, I enjoy a quarter pounder with cheese every now and then. I like a McGriddle. You, you know what doesn't enjoy a quarter pounder with cheese? My colon. It really, <laughs> it doesn't, it doesn't enjoy it at all. Okay. It's, it's like, it, it's like, that's, well. That's, that's, that's personal problem. I, I, I could have some McDonald's today. And then I'll need to clear my schedule because me and the bathroom are going to be spending the next five hours together. So, so probably not your go-to. Not my go-to. Not really. It's, it's not. It's... Oh, here's another one for the scoreboard. <laughs> here's another one for the scoreboard. No one wants to see. What is it, class? No one wants to see your dick. That's right. Police drunk man exposed himself on 84 <gasps> in Hudson Valley. This is right where I used to live. A drunk man is accused of pulling over on 84 in the Hudson Valley and exposing himself to cars that drove past. Sunday. And it gets better. It gets better. New York State Police arrested 51-year-old Leonardo Fragoso of Newton, Newtown, Connecticut, for fifth-degree criminal possession of controlled substance, a felony seventh-degree criminal possession of a controlled substance, driving while intoxicated, public lewdness, all misdemeanors, and exposure of a person, a violation. Around 10 p.m. Sunday, troopers received... 10, is it 10 p.m.? or Yeah, 10 p.m. Troopers received a complaint about a man exposing himself to traffic on the exit 21 ramp on Interstate oh 84. Oh my God. I used to drive that all the time. Suspect's vehicle was pulled over on Danbury Road. The driver, later identified as Fergoso, was found to be impaired by alcohol. Fergoso is accused of possessing around 0.63 grams of cocaine. Is that a lot? Any cocaine is a lot. When you get arrested, <laughs> when you get arrested, any cocaine when is a lot of cocaine. A helicopter dick, a lot of cocaine. 
<laughs> I mean, seriously, I used, I probably, if I still lived in Connecticut, would have driven by this dude myself. What the fuck was the point of this? Cocaine. <laughs> I and booze. I okay. From everything I've read about cocaine, I've never experienced cocaine. I've seen shit about cocaine. No one has ever decided to pull over on the side of the highway and show everyone their dick on cocaine. Well, it says he was drinking too, right? Because here's the thing: cocaine's an upper, alcohol's a downer. I'm still you not. You your uppers and your downers. You get all fucked up. I'm still not understanding where his dick came out. Why he decided to stop on the side of the road <laughs> and say, "Hey, you know what? Right this second, everyone well, needs to fun. see my dick." To be fair, the Danbury Brewster line is probably one of the most boring parts of this country. <laughs> so maybe he thought he was performing a public service. Hey, hey, you can look at the trees or you can look at my dick. Come on, everybody. It is an exceedingly boring place. So you probably gave everybody something to talk about <laughs> at, at work on Monday. I, I mean, just because of this, he's going to jail for a very long time. Because like I said, when you get arrested, any cocaine is a lot of cocaine. And he's a sex offender forever. Yeah, oh yeah, there's that too. Oh yeah, guys, if you're ever at a party and you're feeling tempted to just show everybody your penis, guess what? You could potentially end up as a sex offender. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life on the sex offender registry. Yeah, leave leave your dick inside your pants. Leave it. No one wants to see it. No one. There was a very nice man who worked at the Victoria's Secret at the Danbury Fair Mall, and he sold me my Spice Girls Greatest Hit CD because that was only available at Victoria's Secret for some reason. And like a couple months later, there was a story in the paper that he got fired because he was on the sex offender registry for like downloading kitty porn 10 years before. That doesn't go away. Don't. And they will not let you sell ladies lingerie then. Nor should they. I just, it's, I, put your, put your dick away. Just leave, yeah. No one... Unless specifically requested, you can just go ahead and assume that nobody wants to see it. It's They're not... not especially pretty. They're like, really... let's be honest, guys. Let's be honest. They're really not. They're not. It's a dick. It's, you know. They're not, well, they're not designed for aesthetics. Well, here's something we haven't seen before. Kinda. It's not a dick. It's one of those that yeah, you're going to get angry over this one. This, this is uh -oh. one. Yeah. It's not a dick, though, but you're going to get angry over it. Mom tied boy to roof of minivan so he could hold down plastic pool. What? Wisconsin mother who tied her nine-year-old son to the roof of her minivan. Now charged with a felony. Police arrested Amber Schmunk. That's her Amber Schmunk, 28, after someone called 911 to report the bizarre sight in Sockville, Wisconsin. Schmunk told police there wasn't enough room inside her vehicle, so she put the pool on the roof of her vehicle and had her son secure it while she drove. She said, quote, she believed it was okay as her father let her do things like that when she was at that age. Okay, when you were that age, there probably weren't seatbelts in the car. She's only 28. True. There, there are seatbelts in the car. But, like, um, the point I'm making is, she, like, you watch Stranger Things. Did you watch Stranger Things and think, if I'd have pulled any of that shit, my ass would still be grounded? Like, those kids went missing for two fucking days. I, I pulled I pulled some of that shit. But you know. in 1984, you could disappear on your fucking bike to your friend's house all day, and it wasn't a thing. Yeah. Now, kids don't even all wait at a bus stop. The bus stops at every fucking house, because apparently the Babadook's going to come snatch you out of the fucking bus stop. Like, it's a different world. The shit that was okay when you were a kid is no longer okay. Yeah, but 28, that was the 90s, Tara. 
Yeah, we still did dumb shit in the 90s. Yeah, but we didn't. I I do not remember tie, my dad saying, okay, we got to move this shit. So hold on. I'm going to tie you to the roof of the car. Okay? Here's my question. If she was able to tie her son to the roof of the car, why couldn't she just tie the pool to the roof of the car? I guess she wanted a counterweight. And the <laughs> first thing that occurred to her was her was nine year old. You know what? I've already got, I got it. All right. This is already a stupid situation. But you know the first thing that popped into my head is the counterweight on this? Get your fucking spare tire. Sure. Shoes. Get, cause you probably got a fucking bottle of windshield wiper fluid in your trunk or something. I mean, because I think a spare tire weighs about as much as a nine-year-old. Or pretty close. Possibly. Go get your spare tire. Don't put... Uh, Your child is not a bungee cord. It's not. A, it's not. It's, it's not an accessory. It's... And I promise you, if your child falls off the roof of your moving car, gonna do a lot more damage than if that fucking pool falls off the roof of your moving car. And the consequences are gonna be heavier too. Oh well, she's already. Uh... I mean, first of all, your child will be dead. Yeah. Yeah. There's that. And you know what? There are a lot of things my dad did. I love my dad. My dad was a good dude. But there's a lot of things my dad did that were probably not very safe or okay. <clears throat> my dad shot me. With the gun? Yeah. Not intentionally. Like we a were... real gun? Yes, a real gun. It was bird shot. But my dad shot me. We were out hunting uh, when I was like nine. Does birdshot not, I mean, I guess birdshot doesn't kill you? No, it doesn't. It's, it's like little pellets. I don't pellets. know what birdshot is. It's like little pellets. Oh. Little tiny shotgun pellets. Okay. Yeah, my dad, my dad shot me. I've, I've still got little tiny scars on my arm. Um, but uh, everybody's like, yeah, just stop, Tara. Holy shit. Um, yeah, apparently my picture froze. Yeah. Um. No, we were out hunting and uh, some birds jumped up and I got in the way and I took like a, the edge of the bird shot. Um, yeah, it's it's like it's like BB pellets. It's not like it's not like, you know, buckshot. Buckshot's about the size of the end of my th of my little finger. Bird shots like little tiny BBs. You use okay. it for hunting fowl. I imagine that still hurts. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, yes, it does. <laughs> Because there are holes in you and they bleed. Yeah. See, my dad was cursed with three daughters, so he was way too careful with everything we did because we were little girls and he was a big brick shithouse of an Irish man. So he was terrified of breaking us. Like, he wouldn't even hold any of my nieces or nephews until they were old enough to hold their own head up because he's like, no, it's too small. I'm going to break it. Like... So he was like over careful with us, cause. But no, it's 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 also. I mean, it's you know, my dad did stupid shit, and I I was like, whenever my dad did stupid shit, I was like, my first thought was, I'm not gonna do that stupid shit <laughs> when I grow up, <laughs> because my dad already did it, and I know it's stupid. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> and I say this as you know, I smoked for ten years, but anyway, um. Still. See, I'm... and I got my just shake it really hard or hit it until it works from my dad. Yeah. I have, that's, you know, my dad would just bang on it until he cracked it in half and then we get a new one. Still not, it's still not the same thing as tying your son to the roof. No. God, no. No. <laughs> okay, Toby, you hold on up there. It'll be all right. We'll be there in a minute. Y'all just hold on. If the pool starts to move. Y'all just roll with it, okay? Like, you're not even supposed to let kids ride in the bed of a pickup truck anymore. Nope. You used to be able to do that. You can't do that. Uh, and I mean, it's not safe. There's a reason you can't do it anymore. Uh, well, this last story, I've got a good one for you. Um, two things. Normally, we do not do stories where people get injured. Seriously injured. Um, unless they do it to themselves. And in this story... 
<laughs> he did it to himself. Unless it's just the universe smacking you in the face. Yeah. And posting you on your own petard. And uh, number two, I, I, if you need some good old-fashioned schadenfreude. Oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby. Just get yourself. All right, everybody. Everybody get yourself nice and comfy. Get your favorite drink and your snack. Um, put your feet up. Put get your get your comfy slippers on. Maybe get your dog or your kitty and pet them. Cause just get yourself. It's this is the, here we go, everybody. It's happy time. No bond for man who shot himself in penis while robbing hot dog stand. Oh, that's ironic. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. A nineteen-year-old man. The gods have frowned upon you. A nineteen-year-old man who shot himself in the penis. Oh, he's in his sexual prime too. After allegedly holding up a Southside hot dog stand Tuesday, won't be going home when he's released from the hospital. Terry and Pouncey. I'm not kidding. That's his, <laughs> That's name. his name. I look, folks, I looked this story up. This is one of those I thought too good to be true. Like that can't be real. I looked this this fucking happened. Terry and Pouncey shot himself in the dick while allegedly trying to rob a hot dog stand. Um Pouncey was arrested. The Oatlong Hospital, not long after he was found slumped on the steps of a home across the street from West Pullman Restaurant, the Chicago police say he robbed at gunpoint at about 6 a.m. on Halloween. Pouncey was unable to run further because of the pain of a self-inflicted gunshot wound <sighs> suffered when he tried to adjust the 38 caliber pistol in his waistband as he ran off after robbing Maxwell Street Express. Why would you not have the safety on? First of all, I never understand why dudes put the gun down the front of their pants for exactly this fucking reason. Because yep. there are things down there that you will miss. Yep. Put it yep. down the back where you have a shot that it might just slide through the crack and you'll get lucky. Uh, or at least if you blow off your own ass cheek, you're going to miss it a lot less than your dick. Hi. Like it's going to hurt and it's going to suck. But I mean, it's your ass cheek. <laughs> I just... Your dick, you're going to miss that. And of course, Ram Majal is right there with the gun is good, the penis is evil. Yeah. Yeah. Like, for the rest of your life, you're going to be explaining to girls why you pee out the side of your dick. It's like a sprinkler now. Ah. Uh, oh, the my hand dog, said... The hot dog gods are cruel. That shot mustard hurt. Oh. I oh, wish I had my Oscar Mayer wiener. I came back. How are you? I'm just going to sniff my socks? Okay. I I really got no sympathy here. I really got none. Because you rob people with a gun. And you didn't keep the safety on when you shoved it down your pants. Yeah. Like, yeah. I am nowhere near a gun expert. Nowhere near. In fact, like... Dan, I just finished rewatching Stranger Things season two with Dan tonight. He just finished it. And I guess there's a gun that Chief Hopper's holding up during the big climax. And he's like, that gun's wrong. And I'm like, what do you mean wrong? Like, is he holding it wrong? And he's like, no. And he goes into this big long explanation about how that gun didn't exist till 1992. And I'm like, I never would have caught that in a million years. It's a big black gun. Dan, Dan, if you're watching this later, Dan, um, it's a show about a little girl who opens a portal into hell. Yes, but they do. They they work very hard to get things period accurate. Like they got the old Three Musketeers rappers and shit. Like there's Reagan Bush and Mondale Ferraro signs on the lawns. Like they really play to the anachronism. So and yet no one gives a shit about the gun. I would never have noticed, but he notices that shit. And he's uh, so I don't know the first thing about guns, but I know that the safety should be on. The safe, unless you're 
actively planning to use it. Why? Why? I, I do not understand and why the putting it down the front of your pants shit. And my husband has taught me you never put your finger on the trigger unless you're intending to shoot. I, he didn't put his you finger. You definitely don't put your finger on the trigger just to move it. Th th this dude didn't put his finger on the trigger, Tara. Something else might have bumped the trigger, but it wasn't his finger. I just... Well, then he couldn't have shot himself in it unless he can do the... Is he doing puppetry of the penis? <laughs> I mean, he's not anymore. We're not doing that again, Tara. No, thank you. But you no, would have thank to, you. to pull the trigger and also get it in front of the barrel. You'd have to be doing some flexi plastic man shit with that thing. I just, this this was like the god of who is the god of irony? Somebody in the channel, find that shit right now. This is like the god of irony woke up that day. He <laughs> was like, fuck you. His alarm went off like 20 minutes early. He was fuck out of coffee. Annoying. For some reason, the hot water heater wasn't working. So he's getting <laughs> his shit together and he looks down. And he's like, oh, buddy. Oh, I've been waiting for your ass. Hello. Apparently, Mamas is the god of irony. Mamas is the god of irony. Mamas, you pissed him off. You caught him on a bad day. Yeah. He's on a bad day. A bad fucking day. It's like, oh, hot dog stand, gun, waistband. My God. Why <laughs> didn't they get... This day just got better. I mean, it's be like, you could get the intern to do this. Do you yeah. really need the God of Irony for this one? I mean, come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Terry and Pouncey. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Your dick's never going to work right again. Yeah. That's, that's One of the restaurant employees then began wrestling with Pouncey as he tried to run away after he shot himself in the dick. <laughs> that's just nasty. That's just... Wow. <laughs> You're only 19. You still have a lot of good years on that thing. Not anymore. Not anymore. Um, okay, so I guess the first thing we learned this week is, um, don't catch the god of irony on a bad day. No. Uh, he does not play. He is, he is a spiteful son of a bitch. He does not fucking play. Also, you know what? You're going to rob people who uh, work minimum wage, trying to make a living, doing good shit, and get shot in the dick. No one's going to send you flowers. Yeah, because he took their wallets too. Yeah, no one, no one's sending you flowers. No one's. Uh, you're not going to get a cookie bouquet. You're not. Gonna, nope. You're not going to get balloons. You're saying, not even going to get a sorry or infectious cookie. No, you're you're not going to get balloons saying, uh, you know, we're sorry you shot your dick. No, no, no one's going to do that. Because uh, I kind of hope he gets some of those bachelorette dick balloons though. <laughs> Ronan in the channel just said he just voided his dick's warranty. <laughs> Yeah, he did. I'm pretty sure when you, when you come out, your mom on the side, it says, warning, do not point guns at dick. I think that's in the warranty. That's in the fine print. You got to look it up and you got to check on it because if you don't, it's binding arbitration. It's big, but just remember. Oh, uh, let's be honest. Don't. Just knowing what I do of the male psyche, I'm pretty sure every dude has voided his dick warranty by the age of 18 anyway. True, true. Because y'all yeah. do some weird shit with those things. I told you about Shampoo Boy, right? It's also Wisconsin, same as the lady. Shampoo Boy. Um, real briefly, uh, <clears throat> my girlfriend at the time told me the story of uh, this, this kid who was in high school, and everyone called him Shampoo Boy. And she didn't know why until someone finally explained to him that when he was 12, um, he tried to fuck a shampoo bottle. And he had to go to the hospital... And they had to cut the shampoo bottle off his dick. Because it vacuum sealed. And from then on, he was named Shampoo Boy. And shampoo... Not a good lubricant. No. Not a good lubricant. It's a surfactant, yeah. which makes it an irritant. Yeah. Oh. 
That's and that shit lives with you forever. That 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 it does. It doesn't go away. You going like, back? It's to, forever gonna be the guy who shot his, his himself in the dick. You go back to the twenty year reunion. It's like, hey, shampoo boy. No one ever forgets that shit. Never going away. You're gonna explain that to every girl you date for the rest of your life. We've learned your nine year old is not a good counterweight. No, that's a bad plan. We've learned that when you're when you're on cocaine. Maybe you want to keep a low profile. Maybe that doesn't you want involve to keep a low profile. Yeah, that doesn't involve your dick on the highway. It's like roadside dick. Come and get it. No, that's in general. I just think men need to be a lot more responsible with your dicks. You do. Yeah, we do. I mean, don't shoot yourself in it. Don't pull it out in public. Don't try and foist it on unsuspecting women. Like, just be more responsible with right. your dick in general. Right. Um, we, we've learned that yet again, and this is remedial shit now, gun is not remote control for life. No. Anything you could possibly attempt to be accomplishing by pointing your gun at some random person will end up more expensive and troublesome had you just not pointed a gun at them. Yeah. And the McMuffin isn't worth it. It's not. Take it from my colon. It's not worth it. We've learned pepper spray is not a, is not a multi tool. It's a be careful with that shit. You are carrying around a chemical weapon. Yeah. We're not. I'm not exaggerating that. That's no. what pepper spray is classified that's, as. That's what that is. It's a chemical weapon. And finally, we've learned, and we haven't, again, this remedial shit. No blackface! Just, no! Don't do it. It's like, well, what if I'm, no! No. <laughs> but what but about, what? No. no! No. But how about but, if, no! But what if you just do something else? No, yeah, what if you do something else? It's just like one of those, it's like. What if you just don't paint your face black and dress up in, a leopard skin loincloth. Okay, all right, all right. What if, what if there's like, there's like a nine year old and, and she's got, she's got like terminal leukemia and, and she, she, the only thing she wants, make a wish foundation, that wants me to be in blackface. What do I do? You talk to that nine year old's parents about therapy. No blackface! Because why would that be any child's dying wish? You you will see. I swear to God, you tell people no blackface. Try this. Try this on Twitter yourselves. I know it's great fun. Go to any social media platform and say never do blackface. Just and people will just try to litigate it to the ground. They'll be like, but what if we find out that that's the only way to cure cancer? What or? Conversely, that's not a thing that's gonna happen every fucking time it's like god damn it's like the people's court only the people are idiots it's the same thing with like white people don't say the n-word just don't just don't but what if i'm quoting rap lyrics you well, skip that word you skip that word but what if my black friend says it's okay doesn't matter He's but, just not, he's, there's not, he's not like a representative of the Black Congress, okay? But what if I'm on Super Password and that's the word? You lose. You lose. <laughs> just don't fucking do it. Man, you remember when CeeLo- And don't cry about the fact that you can't do it, because it's one little two-syllable word. You not fucking serious. You remember that CeeLo song that came out, it's Fuck You, a while back? Yes. Everybody driving around, all the white people. It was in the chorus. You just skip that part of the chorus. Yeah, it's it's like, oh shit, she's gold digger. You just skip that you one. You just skip that one. Oh shit, she's a gold digger. Do, 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 do. There you go. There you go. All I gotta do is not that hard. 